I have received a few comments on my printing video inquiring why the print driver on your system is looking different than the one that I'm showing in these previous printing videos. This is happening on Photoshop, Lightroom, and any other program that requires advanced printer control. Let's find out together why this is happening and how you can fix it. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. To show you what's happening, I'll be doing this demo on a newly formatted Macintosh system. I already have my Epson P800 inkjet printer plugged into my Mac, and Mac OS has already gone in and added the driver for that printer for me automatically. So let's go into Photoshop here and see what happens when we try to print. So right now, color handling, I'll choose Photoshop Manages Color, and for now, because I don't have any paper profile, what I'm going to use is sRGB as just a placeholder. I'll click on print setting and where we're used to is to click under media and quality here but we don't see any advanced setting at all. We can't really go in and choose the printer setting where we can control the color output and the paper type and so forth. So right now we have none of those settings at all that are available to us. So what I'm going to do is cancel this out. Let's cancel the printing dialog out. Minimize Photoshop and let's go into System Preferences and see what's happening. In System Preferences, click Printer and Scanner. From here, click and highlight the printer that you have linked up to your system. And what you want to do is inspect it. Right there it says Location, Arts Mac Pro, that's perfectly fine. Kind, Epson SC P800 Series, that's great. However, at the end there you see that it says Dash AirPrint. Anytime it gives you something Dash AirPrint, what it means is that that is a generic print driver that Apple has provided so that these printers will automatically get added into the system and work seamlessly. The problem is that we need a lot more control over our printer than just being able to print out a page or, you know, just a picture from it. We need to be able to control the colors. The other thing too is that if you click on option and supply here, you're really only given two tabs, general and supply level. You click on supply level, it will tell you the supply it has, pretty much the media is empty, but my printer also happens to have a maintenance cartridge and it doesn't even give me the report of the maintenance cartridge of how full it is. So obviously this is running on a, I would say more generic, more basic driver. So how do we get the full driver installed for our printers? Well, what you have to do there is go into Safari or any web browser that you have and just simply search the printer name, Epson P800, driver Mac. What you have here is a list of, from Google search. We'll go into click generally the first one will work. This will take you to the Epson website and from there what you can do is download the drivers and utility combos. If you click on a driver you can just download the driver alone. I'm just going to download the driver only because I don't want to install any extra utility more than I need to on my system. Now that the download is done what I'll do is open that download up. And what you're simply going to do is install that driver. The thing though is that this driver will not automatically add this printer into your system or select the proper driver right away. What you have to do then is go back into the printer and scanners in the system preferences dialog and change a few more things. The last part of this driver installation can take some time even on a faster newer Mac. So we're going to leave this running and then when this is done we'll come back and go into the system preferences and I'll show you then what you need to do to get this driver properly working with your Epson printer. All right, so the driver installation is completed. We'll close this out. You have the option to keep it as an archive or move it to trash. I'll keep it for the time being. We'll close this out. And now we're back into system preferences, printer and scanners. So what I'm gonna do here is click highlight the printer and then click on the minus sign. What we have to do is remove this printer entirely from the system. So we'll agree to delete printer. And then we'll click on the plus sign. This is going to pull an add printer dialog. What we're going to do is select the Epson P800 printer. And right there below it says use. This is pretty much what drivers do you want Mac OS to use. Right now the default's under AirPrint. However, if I click on it, I see that there is an Epson SC P800 series on there. I'll select that one. Click on add. This is going to add the 
Epson genuine driver so that this driver is now going to communicate with the printer rather than the generic air print one. If we come back here and take a look, the kind, now you just have the Epson printer name without the air print dash at the end. That's helpful. If you come and click on options and supply, now you have a lot of things at the top there. So you have the general, you have the options for different warning, supply levels, and you also have the utility, which you can then open up the printer utility. And this is one of those things that I find extremely helpful with the Epson printer. So in the utility here, what you can do is status monitor to which it will give you the level of all the inks and also the level of the maintenance cartridge if your printer has that. You can update this at any given time. We'll update the set of inks in there and give you a readout of how much ink you have left. You can start a nozzle check, head cleaning, and also print head alignment directly from this dialog. Where before, we can't really do that. I'll close this out. We'll agree to this dialog. And now what we have is the proper Epson Genuine driver installed to work with the Epson printer. I'll go back into Photoshop. Let's print. Color handling, Photoshop manages color that's good. Printer profile. The nice thing about Epson driver is that it also includes all the paper profile for the paper that Epson's make. So let's say I want to print on Velvet Fine Art. I can just simply click that. I don't have to download a separate profile to install for my printer. I'll go in and click on print setting in the top there. And one of the first difference we'll notice right away is that rather than saying media and layout in the middle there, it just says layout. We'll click on that and then click on printer setting. This is where you would come in and verify that your printer is not doing any double color correction on top of the color control that Photoshop's doing. So as you see here, print mode and color mode are grayed out. And this is the setting that you want to use. In addition, in this dialog right now, you have the option to select the paper source. How is it being feed? Are you using the sheet feather on the back or are you using the front fine art loader? You can also choose the media type from the different glossy papers, different proofing paper, matte paper, fine art paper, so on and so forth. These are options that weren't available in the generic air print drivers. So if you have one of these more advanced, I would say professional printers from either Epson, Canon, or any other brand that may be. What I would do is check and see that you're running on the genuine driver that the manufacturer have created for the operating system that you have rather than running on the generic run that automatically distributes with the OS. For now, we'll cancel this out. So I hope that you find this guide for installing the proper printer driver for your pro inkjet printer helpful. I'm fairly certain that if you have a Canon printer, you may have to do the same thing. However, I do not have a Canon printer to test out in my studio, so it's hard for me to say. But anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I will cool new contents like this. And until next time, art is right.